Oh man, how did he even start this? Um, okay, Nintendo Switch Direct. Yes. We watched it. I watched it. Gabriel, you said you didn't watch it? Nope. Okay, <laughs> Gabriel did not watch it. He is unqualified to be on this couch. <laughs> I'm down. I'm, I'm trying to hunt down that fucking... Bye, Felicia. I'm, I'm going to hunt down that Thor and fucking Hulk in an office setting. Yes, please, Anyways, dude. Anyways, so Justin, let's just go down from the top. Okay. What are you most excited about? Uh, Shoot. Uh, Legs of DLC. Legs of DLC? Actually, actually, that's hardly a joke because of what... Because of the character they just announced. Yeah, truly. Yeah. So we'll, we'll pick up on that in a minute. Yeah. So I will say, like, definitely ARMS is, like, something I'm just going to keep a watch on. It's, like, it's in my radar. So I'm going to just, like, watch it closely. Um, as far as, like, games that I actually really want, I'm still unsure. Because, I mean, other than, like, the whole, like, plethora of Kirby Tazo will be coming out. Which, despite how, like much of a fan I am of Kirby, I don't actually play a lot of the games, but this will give me, like, definitely an opportunity. I think one of them's actually out right now. A lot of Kirby stuff. Was yeah. it two or three Kirby-related things? Yeah. Definitely yeah. one multiplayer one uh, is out, like, right now for 3DS. I know that. Um, I think it's called Team Kirby Clash Deluxe Free, as I put it. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Um, they do have Fire Emblem Echoes. They, had, they were talking about DLC stuff. I was like, oh, okay. All right. Whatever. And then they just went, um, they went on about like different like 3DS titles like Hey Pikmin, which is like the 2D sc- um, side scrolling Pikmin, which I'm very curious about, but I'm not like excited for. Because it reminds me of so Lemmings, weird. and I always really liked Lemmings. So yeah, I remember Lemmings. But it also looked like it also looks like a really watered down version of Lemmings, and Lemmings, like there's kind of nothing wrong with it. Hmm. And so if it's the same kind of formula but not the same game, it's like not going to be the same experience Mm -hmm. also on the 3ds they were talking about like the 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 amiibos that should have came out like a while back but now they got it they have um i forget like one of the first one they announced but they have the corns they have um bayonetta uh i forget that first one cloud cloud yeah okay cloud okay that's why because they all had like their own alternate costumes that could be their own separate amiibos which is really cool robin fans are blown the fuck out Robin fans are mad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because Oh yeah, because they don't have the female Robin because amiibo. Corin got male and female amiibos, but there's still no female Robin. That's and so, so Robin fans are mad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um in addition to that, they also have like three additional Link amiibos for like the different games like Majora's Mask, Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess. I actually do like the I mean, not as bad as the game kind of is. Skyward Sword is actually my favorite, like, as far as, like, the posture of Link. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite. Aside, right next to, like, Majora's Mask Link. Truth be known, I'm kind of over Amiibos. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, they're definitely going to still, like, like, pump them out. Especially, like, with the whole Pikmin, like, Amiibo coming alongside this new game. But yeah, um... I'm not sure how long it's going to be out there for, but it's definitely something that um, it's still there in the market, if, especially for collectors. And this is definitely a good time to be a Zelda person because they have all that collector's stuff. I really like that they made like some of the amiibos for the enemies. Like I like that they did like, yeah. the Goblin and stuff. Yeah, and Guardian. That thing's oh, they huge. Yeah. <laughs> they made I knew huge... that they were doing it for the Guardian. I didn't know they did it for the Bokoblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Anything else on 3DS? Also, I'm actually, I actually do want to bring up one thing specifically because it was not touched upon very much. But um, I'm, I actually have my eye on uh, RPG Maker Fez. Yeah, I remember that. that um, so interesting. I'm very interested in it. However, the thing that's going to make or break that game for me is if it has like custom art assets that you can oh, yeah. uh, input into it. If you can just choose from like six or seven classes and then like four or five colors of those same characters and you can only use pre-rendered assets the game is dead on arrival Hmm. like nobody's going to want to play that well some people are going to want to play that but like creatives like me are going it's going to be down on arrival because like we want to kind of put our own yeah spin on the game we want to be able to see our own assets in the game um and if that's not an option like that option is available online for free 
to hmm. download. Yeah. So I genuinely hope that that's a feature. I'm very curious about it too because I know that as far as like create create your own like world type games, there's like there's obviously Minecraft and of course there's Super Mario Maker, which is like really good. But like to make it like a full blown like RPG type of game, you would have to really put in a lot of like elements into it to to allow like different people to have their own different experiences. Instead yeah. Of, like, there needs to be a high degree of customization. If yeah. it is, though, it'll be my game of the year. Yeah. Absolutely. If they have, like, maybe, like... Except a... for Mario Odyssey. Oh. But yeah. we'll talk about that later. <laughs> we, we talk about that later, because that didn't even show up on the radar for this Direct. Um, I think it would be a cool idea if they had a way for fans to submit, like, ideas, like, via a website. Or somehow, like, input their own designs onto a website. Like, something as small as, like, a, a JPEG or something like that. That maybe, like... Like creators can like take a look at it. it's like okay how do we implement this and also is it okay for us to put into the game so I think that might be a step in the right direction if they choose to do that otherwise I'd have to really create a large template for everyone to be able to freely put whatever they want into this game yeah and I remember like older versions of RPG Maker like you could like you could cast like a like you'd have pre-rendered sprites and like lots of them, but you could like cast like the NPC kitten sprite as your protagonist if you wanted to. And that's great. That's fine. But I like want to be able to put in my own sprites. You get nothing and like it. And if I can't if I can't do that, then like it's just a waste of a game. Otherwise I've... it's incredible and I'm going to buy it and play it a lot. I just want sprites of red and blue Pokemon in there. <laughs> and uh, I think that's pretty much it for me as far as uh, the 3DSR games I like wanted to take a look at. I guess also Monster Hunter Stories. Yeah, it's okay. Like, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah. I'm a big Monster Hunter fan, so. Okay. So definitely, like, on Switch, the two main highlights were Splatoon 2 and ARMS. Um, they showed a little bit of uh, Splatoon's as far as uh, a new additional, like, I guess you could call it a horde mode, kind of, but also... It's zombies, dude. Zombies. It's Call of Duty zombies. <laughs> but with, with, with salmons. With salmons. You're fighting salmon? Yeah. yeah. You, you got these... You have, like, everyone placed on, like, a map. It's almost like an activity that, like, apparently the squids like, like to do. And they have to collect these, like, eggs or whatever it's called, like, from these salmon people. And you obviously have your, like, your goons, your grunts. So what I'm hearing is, you're the pigs... Something like that? From Angry Birds. Yeah, but doing the job of the soldiers from Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah. And apparently there's like different... Well, I, I've only seen like two classes, which is like the grunts and then like the big bulkier guys who will knock you out in one hit. <laughs> just still weird to see like bulky yeah, Sam. the Dark Souls mushrooms. Otherwise, Splatoon yeah. 2 just kind of seems like more of the same. It just seems like very much like splatoon all over again but with some added stuff some added features which is cool it's fine yeah i'll have to see like a great game yeah i I would definitely like to see like if they add more to like make give it the right to be called a sequel instead of like an add-on but other than that uh we we do have arms i do like the customization specifically you get to choose like not just like one pair of gloves but like like one for each hand like one being like fire for example one being ice i like that arms is looking better and better yeah each time they show it and um i know a lot of people are really excited about the new character herself because she's she's very cute i I love that character but um i'm more excited about the fact that there's going to be more than just the five characters because i was really worried that like they're going to say there's a high degree of customization so you don't need a whole lot of characters but um with the inclusion of min min like that obviously means we're going to be getting more probably 10 characters probably a roster of between 10 to 12 um and that's all i was hoping for that's Mm -hmm. all i was hoping for so arms looks like something i'm definitely Mm -hmm. i I demand 92 although i will say i'm very creeped out by the slap o matic or whatever like the the (laughs) the freaking the tentacle hand oh yeah it's so so gross looking it's like, I don't. You like don't want it. anything to do with that. Like, hand. I don't want it to. Like, don't come near me. I don't want to be wielding it. But Gabe made a joke earlier about like legs DLC, 
<laughs> Which is funny because the new character they unveiled, uh, Min Min, the ramen noodle chick, she, uh, one of her special abilities is that she can do, like, jump kicks that yeah. negate enemy attacks. Yeah. So that's actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's definitely something that, I mean, it's not uh, like, my eyes you're, <laughs> you're, you're still looking for that. Dude, I am so far down. I did this, like, what are you well, looking for? I'm looking for that Thor and Hulk in the office. Oh. Should have saved it. Should have saved that image. Yeah, I should have. I thought I did. But, yeah, I'm very looking forward to seeing, like, other things. Especially, like, if you can use, like, a kicking ability, I gotta wonder, like, what new characters would have, like, other abilities. I'm, I'm pretty much certain that someone's got, but... Who's your favorite taking... character so far? Like, who's your favorite character and, like, what are the abilities that you're looking forward to using the most? See, I've only, like, known of, like, those two, like, male and female characters until this direct. I didn't know about any other additional oh. characters. Like, the ninja and the big dude, the mummy dude. I actually like him more than anything else, actually. The big mummy guy? Yeah. He's pretty awesome. <laughs> and the fact you can customize the gloves, so it's going to be interesting to see how he would be able to play. So, I got my eye on him, but I want to see other people, uh, other characters. I do like Min Min. I like that. Yeah, I like Min Min a lot. Her ability looks really cool, and I like that her kicks can combo. Yeah. But I'm, I'm like, immediately into Spring Man. Because yeah. he looks very, like, Astro Boy, like, Mega Man inspired. Yeah. And, like, I'm about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. He just seems very, very basic. Mm-hmm. He has an image that can definitely carry a franchise. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it would be... I think as far as, like, advertising this game, it would be a little bit better than, um... What was it? Pokemon Battle Royale or something like that. Did, it's that Wii U game, remember? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Po- Pokemon Tournament. Pokemon Tournament. See, that's such I a had a brain game. fart. Like it's okay because like that game just seemed to have like left my mind a while ago. It's I so never, can, I never even got to play it. Count, count yourself one of the lucky ones. A lot of people try and forget it. Oh really? I don't know. There was there was a moment where the competitive scene of it was there. It was there. Yeah. But I think it just kind of died off. Or at least, if anything, it'll be, it'll show up in, like, tournaments and stuff like that. But otherwise, you wouldn't really hear much about it, whether that be, like, DLC or Pokemon Tournament 2. <laughs> I, think, I think it went the way of Pokemon Go. It was real hype for a minute. And then people were like, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that was weird with Pokemon Go. Because that was, like, everyone was playing it for, like, two weeks. And then suddenly it was like... It really just died. It just plummeted. What the hell? Still, they um, are still retaining a lot of like benefits from it, revenue wise. Yeah, it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't, and it was definitely like the big be- the beginnings of an idea of what could work with stuff in the future. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. And uh, something I just want to touch on for the Nintendo Switch: How about that violent Ken in Ultra Street Fighter Two? <laughs> I was making the joke about it with, like, my friend at work. Just like, okay, there's Evil Ryu. There's Violent Ken. Next, we're going to have, like, N. Bison. That stands for Nice Bison. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Nice Bison. (laughs) It's just like a... It's just like Akuma, but he's like a a normal guy. (laughs) Gentle Akuma. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, it's like E Honda, but he's like fit and svelte and skinny. Oh my god! It, no, it's still E. It's uh, what's it called? It's E Honda, but he has the blue, the blue polo one. I think actually a lot of uh, Nintendo Switch games were kind of focused on like more of the arcade version of it, where it's it's not a full fledged game. Hey, hey. we can't talk about this direct. Without talking about Nintendo Presents Monopoly 2017. Can get to that. Game of the Year. <laughs> Monopoly. You can play on Go. Hey. You don't have to worry about chess pieces or anything like that. Look, if you don't main Battleship in Monopoly, you can fuck right off. <laughs> Battleship top tier. I understand that. Wheel, wheelbarrow fags need, need not apply. Wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow. wheelbarrow low tier. Who do you main in Monopoly, Gabriel? Who do you main? Uh, <laughs> On a good day, it's the shoe. 
<laughs> it's either the thimble or the cannon. The cannon is a thing. Forgot about cannon. Cannon's underrated. Cannon's underrated. The shoe is good too. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks. Cannon dog? Th- the thimble's where it's at. Thimble, yeah. That That's finger protection for when you try and jab someone in the eye and while they're in mort- mortifying pain, you steal their money. And the thing is about the <laughs> thimble is... um. It's a real fucking thimble. <laughs> yeah, like if you if you lose your thimble piece, you can just replace it with a thimble. <laughs> and you can't yeah, just works, like it works both ways. If you lose your thimble, you can replace it with the thimble piece. I mean, if you want to wear it on your pinky, you could be a woman. You could be Donald Trump with his very small hands. <laughs> Leave him and his baby hands alone. <laughs> I, I may have baby hands. He was in a. I can still push this button. He was in a Hardee's commercial like forever ago, and he never recovered from it. <laughs> I couldn't imagine seeing because it'll be like on the Switch and it has amiibo functionality. If you can put your uh, amiibos as the fig or as the playing pieces, I can at totally that point, that. why not just make Mario Party? That is true. So that's why I'm wondering. Like, I don't think it might. I don't think that'd ever be like included. Mario Party on the Switch is going to be great. Oh my god! That's I like... really hope that they go back to their roots, though, and like none of the retarded car shit. Uh, like yeah. where you're like not even a pe- independently on the same board. Like you're in one car. To... That's weird. I don't like it. Mm. Uh, let's see what else is there. Um, I mean. They touched a little bit on Sonic, as far as Sonic Forces. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking yeah. forward to playing as Bubsy. Wait, is that the new character? It looks like Bubsy, but it's not Bubsy. It's going to be somebody else. If it turns out to be Bubsy, like, I will eat the heels on my on both of my feet. Like. You're going to need that. You're going to need those heels to run fast. <laughs> not if Bubsy's involved. That's going to be some weird shit. <laughs> But the, the silhouette of the new character does look conspicuously like Bubsy. And it just turns out to be Kid Big. Kid? <laughs> it's like, hey guys, I lost weight. Everyone see Froggy in my tadpole? Still look... Turns out, turns out Froggy was dragging me down. As soon as I stopped chasing him around, I just got my life together. Turns out it's bad to be obsessed with things. Who knew? <laughs> Ugh. Froggy was just a toxic influence in my life. It's a, it's a different time. It's a different time, it's a man. Metaphor. We, we move past it. We move past it. <laughs> the whole like big and froggy dynamic is just a drug story. <laughs> but uh, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, I guess if anything like in my interest that's coming out is just like the additional like separate dock available for a Switch. I mean, I wouldn't really need it, but it's just like, that's a separate thing that just wasn't there at the beginning, but now is. For a limited time. Okay. (laughs) Neon yellow Joy-Cons, which is one of the things that I wanted to see, like, at launch. So, I'm really excited about that. Might actually buy a Switch now. Hey. Because yellow is my favorite color. (laughs) Okay. To be honest, though, like, it definitely looked weird when you actually saw, like, alongside the uh, the switch itself it kind of stood out to me i think if i mix matched it with different colors that'd be cool i'm thinking like i think blue and yellow would work <laughs> yes the patrician taste my friend blue and yellow would only work if you could have a green main console that would be pretty <laughs> too bad we don't have any skins for that yeah it's funny though because you actually can buy the like rubber skins for the joy cons now too oh really so oh, okay all right that, that, that's all right that's a good compromise uh anything here on the switch nolan that we haven't covered yet nothing that i particularly care about yeah it definitely seems like a good lineup for like nintendo for now until like maybe e3 and then we'll see like what else they might have in store if they decide to make a direct there oh i should probably mention the namco collection yeah. Which, it's kind of surreal to see Splatterhouse playing on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that, that's how it definitely stood out to me. Like, wait, 
Oh yeah, it's an arcade game. But but hey, you know, you guys know me. I have like I really love Pac Man. Yeah, it's one of my favorite games. Um, so I like whenever the classic Namco games. So and what's cool is that um, when you actually play it, you can have it like set, I guess, full screen, or you can have it like as the classic like size with like some nice um, illustration on the borders yeah. and everything. That's a definitely a cool. It was, it was a solid direct. I know a lot of people were kind of hoping for a little bit more, but I think a lot of the things that I was concerned about are, and then you know they got to save some stuff for E three. Yeah, you know E three this year is going to be huge. They have to deliver for sure. I mean, like, and when the Switch came out initially, it was just like, you know, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and then like a whole bunch of other like, um, like arcade type s type yeah. games. So just wait until E three ever everybody like. We'll see. It, they're going to drop a bomb. Like, it's going to be awesome. Kingdom Hearts 3, Switch. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't don't hold your breath on that, Chief. And then they do it. <laughs> including, that would be amazing. Including Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> and you're just going to see that weird one, like, uh, Gears 3. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Minecraft's was, happening. Minecraft's happening. Payday 2 is happening, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, can we talk about Rob Banks with your friends? <laughs> the literal tagline. <laughs> In what? Payday In the Nintendo two. Direct, oh. they had, like, descriptions of the things they were going to be talking about. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> next to the hot headline for Payday 2... It just said in all caps, "Rob banks with your friends." <laughs> Excellent marketing. It's perfect. We reached. Yes, I found it. With that spectrum, bring it over. Of like, <laughs> okay, we got. It. Okay, he's a friend from work. I finished his <laughs> Hulk's whole many rewards. Hulk's face and that makes it all worth it. Okay, we're gonna end it here. All right. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye. <laughs>